Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm a color art affiliate. We're going to be using color art products and a few other things. And usually I put paint around my edges, but today I'm going to try and put a pillow just in the center. This is Sharon Williams White Satin. And I, have, I can't remember the last time I tried to do a bloom with just paint in the center. I am going to tip it a little bit. It does look like enough to me. And instead of swiping, I don't know, I could still swipe. <laughs> instead of swiping, I was definitely contemplating blowing. That's some mine gold, it's a prism pour. This is some golden product. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. This is a prism pour. This is saffron. This is, that's a prism pour. Yes, I said that. This is sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush in it. This is a little bit of orange crush. This is jasmine, a primary element that I'm almost out of, so it takes a second for it to come down. Come on down. I guess we're doing splatters today. So I'm going to add a little bit of wild orchid. And I used some Prussian violet. Wild orchid is a prism pour. Prussian violet is a primary element, I believe. And I want a little more pink, so I'm going to snag the, I believe, Tempting Tulip, which I absolutely love. That's a prism pour. Oh, excuse me. That's a primary element. And I was contemplating, and I'm going to continue to contemplate. I'm going to use the Fandango. Now I'm going to grab my Australian Floatrol. Black, Amsterdam black, and Amsterdam white. And I may still swipe. Looks like I lost a whole bunch of my purple to No reason why not to blow except for I got so lightheaded I can't believe it. Okay, so I am going to put a little more cell activator in there I've decided before I decide to do anything else. Now, I've never scooped and dragged, and I could just tip this out. I really could. But what I want to do is scoop and drag and see what happens.
There's new meaning to the words wrecked bloom. And anything along the edge will probably be gone. Pop that bubble. And I am kind of using the palette knife to spread paint out to the edge, which may or may not be a good idea. I'm going to probably tip a little bit. I just dragged my finger right through there. Darn. Pull up. Pull up. I'm going to just keep spreading paint to the edge. Try to move my fingers back on the palette knife so I don't keep dragging it through the painting. Now I'm kind of inclined to put more white paint on the edges so I can keep my design in the middle. But I'm not going to do that anyway. I'm going to keep trying to fill in though. And hopefully spinning will help us some. I may put more cell activator in, I'm thinking over here. And more white paint. like to merge that but I don't know if I can or not. A part of me is definitely contemplating swiping but first I'm going to blow. spirals in but it doesn't mean I won't. There's always a chance of that. I was going to leave that shape in the center but I don't think it was going to stay once I spin anyway. Let's see if I can do some shifting. And then in the end I can always swipe See that bubble? I'd like to save a lot of stuff that I don't know if I'm... This is really not my, my, not my usual jam. So it's a long, slow process, but I'm still loving the colors, so... And I like the little bits of cells from the from the bloom blow, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to swipe. Oh, I just lost some beautiful paint. I've got an edge catcher and I want to use it. get all that paint to go over to the edge without losing anything over the edge because it will definitely spin off anyway no matter what. So I can push that back and let it ride down I think. I want something to come off that corner. Not really. <laughs> Let's bring everything back again. And I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula take the paint, the house paint, 
off that edge catcher. What else am I going to do? I'm probably going to take a palette knife. Although, I'm really liking the design I've got. I think that might require a little bit more white paint. This is a new thing for me right here, this. Yes, it is. I kind of want to take the palette knife and move all that paint over, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. This is all before the spin. Yep, I got some dark stuff in there. Oh, I got a big piece of paint in there. Come out, paint. All right, let's get on with it. Maybe I'll take a picture. That's pretty sweet. I really want to just tip it down that way. So we'll give that a little bit of shot. I'm going to lose all of that black that I just put in there. Darn. But that is the place that has the heaviest paint, so that's the only place that's really flowing hardcore. Come back again. Yeah, I can hear paint flowing, but I'm loving my colors. I really, really am. All right, I'll have to take a picture. I really want a picture now. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Let's take a photograph. There we go. I have to spin. I know, it's terrible. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I got a better barrier in place. I notched out one end so it'll drop down and I could keep the paint from spattering all over myself. Here goes nothing. Ready? Now, it's really not a conventional bloom by any stretch of the imagination, so I really could whip through there with a whole big bunch of cell activator and get something else, but I'm actually really loving the abstract quality of it, and it looks like it's it's completely covered the edges with the exception of this one place I'm seeing right here. So that means I either have too much paint and I should keep spinning or I'm done spinning and I get to keep what I've got. And I think that's going to be the case. I like, I like that view. I like that view. I like that view. I think this view is my favorite for you and probably for me. And hopefully I spun enough paint off. I wonder. I guess we'll find out together. Sadly enough, I think there might be too much paint on there, but I really love what I've got. And there's only a few little bits of cells in here, but they're very strategically placed, and I love them. And I have lots of time left to shimmer this at you, and the colors are magnificent. Don't forget there's a 20% off color art coupon code underneath the video, and a 10% off pixel paint design coupon code that'll get you Australian Floatrol, Pebio Paints, and Boom Gel. Boom Gel, they're great for... Um, for swiping for cell additional to your cell activator. Wow, I'm just totally enamored of this piece of art. It's making me happy just looking at it. So thank you guys for the kind words in the comments that keep my morale boosted. Thank you very much for when you make a donation through the PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. You help keep me painting can and canvases and Floatrol and GAC 800 and all the things that make paint pouring possible. 
I want to thank Color Art for their generosity as, as far as keeping me in, in colors. And I hope you go there and check it out because there are amazing colors. It's Color Nirvana, I call it. Anyway, so please share my videos, watch them longer, and know that I sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And if you check out my link tree, you'll find uh, it's very close to the color art coupon code and the pixel paint design coupon code. But on my link tree, you'll find a couple websites and um, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio, Bit Gallery Appreciation Group. I'm going to have to torch or pop some bubbles. I can see that now. There are a few in there. But this is too pretty. Just really, really pretty. Um, did I say thank you for the thumbs up? My paint pouring recipe is below show more. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have 29 lists of 100 videos on playlists, and they're also on playlists by topic and genre. If you need something, just ask me. They're very easily accessible to me. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. It's a great place to ask questions. Please feel free to ask me questions. I'm here to help you. If I can help you, I will. Um, on my link tree, you'll find Society6, The Gallerist, Pixels.com, Fire Night America, all places that you can have my art reproduced as uh, a number of infant, pretty much infinitesimal merchandise, but definitely as, um, wow, definitely as reproductions. And uh, baby onesies and coffee mugs and yoga mats, you name it, it's there. Anyway, I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. This is proof of that. This is just floating my boat, something fierce. You guys, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. What have I forgotten? What have I forgotten is my Amazon link is not only a great place to shop, it's at no way to cost you, and you could find my two books there and all the tools and paints that you might want and more. All right, you guys, see you and on. Bye for now. Love you much. Priscilla out.